Welcome to OMOP RV channel. I'm Curtis. This is Jonathan. And I'm hoping y'all enjoying our journey and uh, our videos. We enjoy putting them together for you and we like the new format and it helps us keep the editing down to a minimum. Jonathan does all that. I don't know. I just build and work. Yeah, I enjoy it a lot. It's actually very entertaining to me to learn how to do the YouTube right. channel and put it together. I actually really enjoy it. And uh, I just hope everybody is enjoying following us. Next thing is, so this week's video, we're going into what we've done this week. We've been working on the air conditioner. And the weather has been not working with us in Awful. any way. Awful. Storms, lightning. Lightning strikes, lightning strikes, more storms, more rain, and but I, go ahead. I am truly excited to have that AC up. Yes, and it looks so good. And I will yes. show you pictures right now for sure. Right. we told you we had fixed the roof leak well mother nature wanted to make sure we knew we hadn't fixed the roof leak <laughs> so it's it's a lot better but it's still not fixed so we're still chasing a roof leak the only place so far in Knockwood is right here that's that roof hatch and I think it's telling me I need to build something different but we'll see we'll try one more time yep we'll keep uh, putting caulking around everything around the screws I didn't quite get heavy with the caulking around the screws, so I'm gonna do every screw all around it, nice thick layers of it, and it should be nice. I yes. think that will get it. If not, then we gotta get a new hatch. That's all. Right. And we wanted to uh, tell everyone that we have, um, our swag is in for the next tours that we do. We have our swag, and I'm actually gonna put a picture up right now to show you it's how it looks. It's not merch, it's swag. Yes, it's fun, free things just to give away for kids and other things. I do want to do some beer koozies or just regular koozies for anything and some hats for the kids also. Right. Because I enjoyed that a lot last time. Right. Okay. So next round of videos will right. be about solar. So I'm excited about showing y'all that. But the AC is having two in the bus is what I wanted to go in. It will help okay. us so we can zone it from the front to the back, depending on where we're located. If we're sleeping, of course, we'll have it on in the back. And if right. we're cooking and other things, we'll have the one in the front. Right. We think we should be able to um, maintain both of them at eco mode without any problems at all. Right. As long as we have some good solar coming in. Most people always say you can't do the mini splits on solar, but of course we've been a year and three to four months now with the one AC in the back. Now we're excited to have two ACs right. for extra comfort. Just to show we can do two mini splits, not just one. Especially when we were in Florida, we did have a little bit of troubles with the heat. And we are going west, and it should be... <laughs> it should be uh, warm there also. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I put my eye <laughs> So we're heading west, and we want to have two ACs. Yeah. <laughs> Next is the, uh, we are going to have our... Stop with the pin. Pin is down. Next, we are going to have our transmission serviced. Yes. We don't know when it was last done. We're about to do a 10,000 mile trip. And we're about six months covering the western states of this country. And so I noticed this last time I got underneath that the gasket was weeping. It was moist, not really dripping. We haven't lost any transmission fluid, but it, it's not far from it. So I got our closest Allison transmission place, certified transmission place, mm -hmm. Friday morning. I gotta go there. I'll try to take some pictures. 
not sure if I'll get the video, but I'll try to take pictures of what they're doing and just maintenance. Um, Long story short, we do not want to be on the road with any transmission problems. Right. That's the main thing. Seven P's. If you don't know what it is, look it up. You'll never get it. Yes, I will. I'm actually going to say it. Prior proper planning prevents piss poor performance. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. So Don't I, ask me anything else. Mm, That's all you get today. Yes. And we and we, we kind of live by the logic of KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. We try not to overthink it. We try not to overbuild it. We try to make it for whatever we need without going crazy. And what's your question of the week? Mm, I forgot about that. My question this week is, what do you think our build represents? Not only to you, but to us. Do you... uh, it, it's, it's a good representation of us. Simple, with a little color every now and then. Um, basics. And some would say a little more than basics. But we're, we're trying to prove that you can live without wasting and you can live a lot on solar i know that there's a lot being said about fossil fuels and all that but i'm a firm believer in solar and i think that with with some planning and not being greedy you can do it and that's what we're out to prove that's why we don't have a generator um we only use our solar we don't plug in anywhere even if we're paying a campground price, we don't plug in, and now it's become a principle of us just to see how long we can go and not suffer without plugging in. It's just the point now that we don't want to hurt no. our record, and we will do whatever it takes not to plug in to prove that we haven't plugged no, we're in. We're not going to freeze to death. We're not going to do. Yeah, anything we're not like going that. anything. We're not doing anything that makes our life right. Not luxury or whatever. We have all the luxuries in life. Right. We but, may have to live at 75 degrees in the summer instead of 64. But we are not going to hook up. No. We are not hooking up. No. That's the main thing. That's our real goal. Right. But I think, same thing with you, with representing uh, boondocking is what we thrive to do. That's why we built the bus. Right. And solar is what we represent. And that's the best part of our build is the solar. And we are talking about the living space, not the traveling space. Yeah. Because we want to show off the bus. And we we can't travel on diesel. I mean on solar. Not until, you know, Mr. Musk does his thing. But mm -hmm. for now, we are still using diesel fuel. We bought a bus that gets about 10 miles to the gallon, which is a lot for a lot of buses. So we are trying to be simple. Keep the speeds down. And... You know, enjoy it, but living, we're living off solar, and that's what we're trying to do. Very little footprint we leave behind. Trying. Trying to. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed our journey and our progress of the channel OLOPRV. If you haven't checked out our website, please do. It is OLOPRV.com. Right. So we like to say, so long. I hate to end this short. But we have to say goodbye, and I yes. can't wait till next week. Yes. And like Johnny normally says, like, share, subscribe. And if you're still with us and you still want to see more of this torture, hit the bell notification, and you'll get notified when we attempt to make a video again. Bing! <laughs> yeah, fun. <laughs>